there's a section of epistles called the Pauline epistles that are written by Paul, and this is the first one that we encounter. However, these epistles are generally organized by length not by chronology. Okay. So we've just gotten done with Acts and we've finished getting the whole story of the Acts of the Apostles. And now we're hitting the rewind button and we're gonna go back into the history of Acts, but now we're gonna see letters that were written during various parts of the Apostles' lives. Okay. And so Romans is an epistle that was written sometime in the 50s AD by uh, Paul to the Christian saints in Rome. Uh, he'd never met them before. Uh, and so he's writing to them because he's heard that there's a little bit of contention that's going on. And so he's trying to encourage them to be unified as one church. And what, where is this contention stemming from? What is it about the Romans that is causing these things to stir up? Well, some of the contention is, is that we have a Jewish group of Christian followers and a Gentile group of Christian followers. And they're trying to find how do we merge together when we've lived separate lives? The Jew Jewish Christians are asking why or how does the law of Moses still play into our lives? And what about circumcision and what about ordinances? And the Gentile Christians are like, well, we're just here because of our belief in Jesus Christ. And so there's a lot of questions about what role does Jesus Christ play in the law and how do we work together as a people to create a new uh, unified group okay. of Christians as opposed to kind of the separated group that we've been living for the first little while of the Christian church. <laughs>